Hello, my name is Cable Green. I am the Director of Global Learning at Creative Commons. I am sending this greeting and message to our colleagues in Canada. Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization that enables the sharing and use of knowledge through free legal tools. Our no-cost, easy-to-use copyright licenses provide a simple, standardized way to give the public permission to share and use creative works under the conditions the author chooses. CC licenses let you easily change your copyright terms from the default of all rights reserved to some rights reserved. Creative Commons licenses are not an alternative to copyright. They work alongside copyright and enable you to modify your copyright terms to best suit your needs. Our vision at Creative Commons is nothing less than realizing the full potential of the internet. Universal access to research and education, full participation in culture to drive a new era of development, growth, and productivity. It is important for you to know Canada has long been a leader in open licensing of educational resources, and there exists a strong Creative Commons Canada affiliate with representatives from Athabasca University, BC Campus, and the University of Ottawa's Canadian Internet Policy and Public Interest Clinic. Here's the opportunity. Over the last decade, the internet, increasingly inexpensive computing, the affordances of digital content, and open licensing have made it possible for the first time in human history to share the world's knowledge with everyone for the marginal cost of zero. For 10 years, the global open educational resources movement has worked on leveraging these opportunities to ensure students and teachers have no cost legal access to courses, textbooks, and research. If we get our public policies right, everyone in the world can attain all the education they desire. It will require, however, that we share the educational resources we produce and that we spend our limited public funds wisely. The Cape Town Open Education Declaration begins, quote, We are in the cusp of a global revolution in teaching and learning. Educators worldwide are developing a vast pool of educational resources on the Internet, free and open for all to use. These educators are creating a world where each and every person on Earth can access and contribute to the sum of all human knowledge, end quote. This is true but we have a policy problem. Most policymakers don't understand 21st century technical and legal tools and how they collectively enable this global learning opportunity. Understanding the opportunity afforded by wielding these tools is key to even understanding that that education dream is possible. Without this understanding, policymakers can only make decisions within existing frameworks, within existing business models. So why focus on open policy? Well, first, the policy. Publicly funded resources are openly licensed resources. And while there are many open licenses, publicly funded education resources should use an open license that allows the public to revise, reuse, remix, and redistribute those materials. For the purposes of open policies that contribute to society, we, were we are talking about legislation, institutional policies, and or funder mandates. If we are going to unleash the power of billions of dollars of publicly funded education, research, and science projects, we need broad adoption of open policies by governments, policies that require grantees to share what they build with public funds. Why focus on publicly funded educational resources? Well, because that's where the money is. This is why open policies are so important. If we get this simple idea right, open education sustainability will cease to be an issue because A, there will be plenty of public funding to build and maintain all of the teaching, learning, and research resources the world needs, and B, open becomes the default and closed becomes the exception when one creates education or research resources with public funds and the bar for receiving an exception should be high. What is possible with open policies? It's real simple. 
large amounts of publicly funded education and research resources could be made available under an open license or placed directly into the public domain. We need to take policymakers back to first principles. A, we agree in efficient use of public funds to increase student success and access to quality education and research resources. And B, everything else, including all existing business models, are secondary and should adjust to meet that first principle. What is the end game? Our winning argument is policymakers will want the highest return on investment and impact of public investments in education and research. Our open policy goal, open policies adopted by all nations, national agencies, provinces, and educational institutions. If I can be of service as Canada considers these topics, please contact me anytime. Thank you.